Hello everyone. So today we are gonna look how to make how to use a, an icon as a background for a section like we see here. So to begin with we are going to head over to icon finder to find an icon. And here we can set up the criteria for search. So if you pick free and no link back, then uh, you can freely use the icon without without anything required. Of course, you can choose to have the premium ones if you're working on a client website and need something really, really nice. And you can also choose uh, other licenses filtering. Even the free one, you have quite a quite a lot of choices. So for this example, we will use uh, this one here. So let's download the SVG for this one. And now to get the look we want, uh, as you see, it is uh, slightly rot rotated. So for this, we will actually need to edit the, the file we downloaded. So there are many different ways we can do this. Uh, you can use uh, Illustrator or, or Inkscape, or you can also use this website. Uh, you will have the link in the description for that website. It's uh, Vector Paint. So we just go here, file open SVG, pick up the icon we just downloaded. Now, as you can see, it's very, very small. We will zoom. All right. Now just select and rotate it. And let's go this way for, for that example. Okay, let's go like this. And also make it white. If you have, depending on your background, of course, you can just choose the color you want here. You can edit it to the color you want. For this example, I will make it white. Now we cannot really see it anymore, but it's all right. And now just download it with this option, because this one, uh, it will not be scalable. So you just want to download it in the same format as a SVG. And here it is. All right, here is a quick example. Uh, if the icon you choose is more complex uh, and you want to apply a rotation, you won't be able to rotate it all. Uh, you know, like that, that will not work because it's made of many different. So the way you go about it is you need to group it together like this. Then you have the option here, and now you can. Oh, I did not select everything. Let's just go with Control All. Did that work? Yep. So, just like this. And also, sometimes uh, this part here in the background might be too small, so it might the graphic when you rotate it. So in that case, you click here. Let's see here. And, uh, and then you have the, the option here and here to make it smaller or bigger. So let's say it was uh, cropped like this. 
uh, all the part that is outside would not appear at all. So then you, you can change so these values. Elementor. And you see here I already have a section uh, set up and ready to use. Let me clear what's already there. All right. So this is what the section looks like. Uh, this is actually a section from the templates. And now you, you go in the, in the section. You don't add it as a background because you want a color for the background. So you go in the background overlay and image. Then you can import. And there you go. It's pretty much that simple. But my settings were already set up uh, because of the example I had earlier. So you will want to be certain that the position, the default position is not great. So center right, uh, no repeat. Likewise, it's not very pretty. And the size, to choose better to choose custom. Could try with contain. Uh, it could, this could give good results also, or cover depending on maybe if you uh, decrease the opacity a lot, should be all right. But in this example, I choose contain, and the opacity let's put uh, about. And uh, the good thing about using uh, the built-in Elementor background overlay settings and, and all these options here is that it becomes responsible, uh, responsive, uh, almost almost by itself. So if you can see a tablet without changing anything, it still looks all right. Could make it bigger. And the smartphone also looks fine. But of course you can change. This will look great also. So yeah, it's easy to customize. And that's pretty much it. Thanks for watching.